Nola Jet here at the new location of Morning Call. Good stuff in here, yeah! Welcome to Nola Jet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Travel Vlog, we have a New Orleans celebration for the return and grand opening of Morning Call Coffee Stand at their new location. Morning Call's new building is located in the Mid-City neighborhood of New Orleans at 5101 Canal Boulevard, which is about 13 minutes and 4 miles away from the French Quarter. Join us for a New Orleans beignet and cafe au lait coffee feast at Morning Call Coffee Stand. Morning Call Coffee Stand was founded on Decatur Street in the French Quarter back in 1870 by Joseph Jerschitz. In 1974, Morning Call closed their French Quarter location and moved to the greater New Orleans suburb of Metairie in Jefferson Parish, where they stayed until they moved again in 2012 to the Casino Building in City Park, where they flourished until they were forced to close in January of 2019 due to a lease dispute. So, let's head on inside and check this new building out. So it looks like they brought a lot of the old stuff over with them, or they did a really good job of reconstructing it and putting it back inside here. So there's a lot of items that look really familiar to me, and it looks like it's uh, got a lot of the old, comfortable, familiar surroundings that I'm very familiar with. So it's really good to see all that. I'm meeting some other gents here tonight as well. This is Barrett, one of my Yelp friends from Gulf Shores. And there's another NOLA gent that's going to be arriving shortly as well. They really do have a great outside area here. It's really pretty. So we're going to have a good time in here tonight. And we've got the menu here to look at. So they have uh, beignets, of course, which are three to an order for $3.50. The Cafe au lait, a small is $3.25, a large is $6.00. And we have a decaf option for cafe au lait and a frozen cafe au lait or ice cafe au lait. The uh, frozen machine was broken, I heard. And then the hot chocolate is $3.25 for a small, $6.50 for a large. And they have soft drinks for $3.25, Powerade for $3.25, and milk or juice for $3.25. Then they have some local fare, some actual food. Unlike Cafe Du Monde, they also have red beans for $9.25. Jambalaya for $9.25, gumbo for $9.25, and mupalettas for $7.50. Then they have a listing for treats, but none are listed currently, and this is a cash-only business. Morning Call Coffee Stand still uses their traditional method of brewing, their strong and rich chicory coffee, using the time-tested French shrimp method to create their signature cafe au lait. They heat whole milk to a near boil and then mix the milk with a coffee for the perfect cafe au lait. Morning Call is also noted for their beignets being a bit more fluffy than their main competitor, Cafe du Monde, and they also don't drown their beignets in powdered sugar, but instead simply provide a shaker of sugar for the customer to add the amount of powdered sugar that they prefer to the beignets. So we're going to sample the signature items here. And uh, my pal Barrett's already put her orders in, so we're going to see what all he's ordered for us. I think I've got a good idea what we might be getting, as he is a big fan of some Cafe Au Lait and beignets. And if you notice, the beignets are naked. The sugar's not on them. We get to add the sugar that we like. And personally, I don't like the powdered sugar on it at all. But my friend Barrett likes a little sugar. This is his... Uh, special shot that he created for Yelp, so he's getting that taken care of now. There's also some problems with the address not being updated on the Yelp app, uh, which seems to be more common these days, so he's trying to get that worked out here. He's all busy attempting to check in and finishing up his Yelp draft, so he can attempt to get a review in. Oh, oh no, I'm a failure. I can't get it out. So I have to say, in all the many years I've been getting coffee at Morning Call, I've never seen them pour it in a styrofoam cup to begin with. Maybe for a go cup, but not initially. So this is a new thing to me. So we're here with uh, my Yelp pal Barrett. Ah! Little cafe by toast. Morning Call, grand opening. It's about time, I'm glad to have it back. Oh yeah, good stuff in here. Woo, Cafe Olay. Ah, 
So what do you think of it? Thumbs up. Oh yeah. Mm. And I noticed you have the beignet there. Yes, I do. So, uh, the thing I like about this place is it's more lightly powdered. Uh, that other place just drowns it in the powdered sugar. This place is a little more light of the touch. It is, and uh, we're gonna find out. Mm. So. It's also very light, airy. It still has some density to it. I like how, do you, it. how do you compare it to that other place? Which show renamed renamed Nemo? Uh, yes, that other place. Uh, it's um, it's every bit as good, but good in a different way. Ah! Come on down. Yeah. Well, just go ahead and destroy that thumbs up like button for us, won't you? <laughs> Sugar free. Well, I like it. Taste mm. my proper coffee. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up for us. Also, comment below. Let us know what you've been thinking about this uh, video so far. So my pal Barrett was actually in town to pick his wife up from the train station, so we decided she would probably enjoy some of these mini muffalettas from here. So we picked up an order of these to take to her so she could have a little enjoyment. But hey, wait, look, who are these people? We know some people here in the house now. There's some familiar faces that have arrived. There's another Dola Jet here. It's the goat. The goat has arrived. So... It's time for a little uh, gent camaraderie and uh, enjoying ourselves in this grand opening fun. So we're all going to get some caffeinated beverages uh, flowing, have a little more of our coffee fun, and finish off our beignets. So we had a pretty darn good time here at Morning Call, and it was an enjoyable experience for the grand opening time. It's a beautiful new building, and it's a good location with the one caveat that the parking was getting a little tight by the time we left. There's not a whole lot of parking, so they got uh, more space for people than they do have for parking. And when the uh, new Bud's Broiler also opens up next door, it will be much harder to find parking spots. So, Go ahead and comment below and let us know what you thought about this video. While you're down there, I'd appreciate it if you take a look at the link to my Patreon account because, hey, I do work for tips. And go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the No Legit channel and watching this video, especially to my Patreons. And tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.